Uh, hello, this is uh, Nick, or Jade Kingfisher. Um, it's been a long time since I've uploaded anything, and I've really been wanting to share some stuff. So for this one, I was just doing a sort of paint rendering test on Procreate. This is when I first got the program. Just something cozy and just to see how I, how I rendered stuff in Procreate. So we start off with the base sketch, laying down some base colors, and originally I had to have brunette, but um, that ended up not really working out with the color palette I wanted. And even here I add some red in there, but like, don't fully commit. <laughs> anyway, sorting out the shadows, going in, rendering lips, nose. I actually quite like the nose in this one, not gonna lie. And um, I wanted her to have like, cute, blushy makeup as well. Her eyes will kind of, kind of empty, like, you know, I was, yeah, yeah, there we go, we softened it out, and then she's fine, <laughs> mostly. And then here comes the hair struggle, the, the battle of brunette to redhead. Um, you know, I'm trying to, like, get some nice strokes in the... I suddenly figure out that I need to do eyebrows as well before that. Um, this was all done on like one layer, maybe two, um, which kind of makes it so that I, I accidentally paint over stuff when I don't really want to because I'm not watching where I'm actually drawing. We got some nice highlights going on. I feel like the hair now looks a little stiff. So now we're we're leaning in to the the auburn or red red hair, and um, wanted to puff out the cheek a little bit so that you can kind of see her hand pressing against it. Throughout this video, you can kind of see some like flecks or dots coming up um, of like random bits of color, <laughs> and that that's just from me um, like accidentally touching the iPad either with um, like my wrist or my palm or my other hand when I'm like trying to undo stuff, trying to um, like rotate the canvas. <laughs> and um, to be honest, I still do this like all the time now. I zoom out of the work and then I'm like, oh, it's just a bunch of random lines, so. My like favorite part, I think, this piece. And um, I didn't realize yet that Procreate has like a reference window that you can just import an image to and uh, so you don't have to copy and paste it onto your actual canvas. But here I needed it really close anyway, <laughs> so um, so uh, yeah, it's, it's just hanging out next to it. Yeah, I just really wanted to have a go at rendering sort of more of a satin, like silk ribbon. Yeah, really like high shine material. Scrapping the pattern that I had on there and realizing, oh, I should just multiply it. That's that's the smart thing to do. like all the, the skin tones and the, the overall color palette I used in this one. Um, it's still really like nice, comforting. Just working on building up the layers, trying to somewhat get the anatomy kind of okay. You 
no, I'm just trying to make sure I emphasize like that, like where the light's hitting, where the shadows are, to um, convey that like glossy sheen. And again, um, this is kind of just like a, meant to be a fairly quick-ish uh, practice of rendering in the program. So, you know, it's I'm not doing like a direct one-for-one -one copy of each of the bows, it's just roughly kind of what I'm seeing. Some extra shadow around there. The leaves. Um, I still wanted them pretty messy. Like I wanted the all the rendering focus to be on this lady. And there she is. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this, feel free to comment. Comment. Uh, what you liked about the piece, or um, if you also want to try drawing really shiny fabric. Hope you have a good day. Bye.